uh, General Hospital has not come back up yet. However, now we're going to have a very important conversation on weight loss. Um, if you've ever tried to lose weight, I don't have to tell you that it's hard. And it's even harder to stay after the weight loss. You lose the weight is hard, but to maintain the weight after weight loss is so much harder. Perhaps for women in their 30s and up, I, I should know that. <laughs> it's not an easy thing to do. And in a world today where we are constantly policing women's bodies and women need to do like, look, look like this and women need to lose the belly fat and we have to do this, our stomachs have to be flat and so on. A lot of young ladies in particular resort to interesting and sometimes dangerous ways to lose weight. From fat diets to extreme measures to interesting concoctions, starvation, and straight out doing things that are, are, if I may say, unreasonable to lose the weight. The list is endless. Today on the show, we're going to talk about weight loss, the misconceptions, the things that you do that you probably should not do, and the best part, the proper way to do it, because it's possible to do it well if you're consistent and if you do the right thing. And we're pleased to have joining us in the studios, Dr. Doku, she's a dietitian. She's really good at this. And she'll share all the things that we need to know and more about weight loss, dieting, and the proper way to do it. Doc, you're welcome to the studios. Thank you. Good How are you doing? I'm good. When I said Dr. Doku, you were like, <gasps> because I'm a dietitian and I'm okay. a registered dietitian, I use okay. RD. So RD, doctor. not yes. DR. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> you're welcome to the show. Thank you. Great to have you. Registered yes. dietitian. dietitian, so that's RD, RD. RD. And, yeah. not and not DR. DR. Yeah. Anyway, so her <laughs> full name is Frederica Sewa Doku, lead dietitian at the Medigrace Medical Center. How's Medigrace doing? So well. Uh, so people come in registering to know what to eat and what yes, not to please. eat and all that. Yes, so that's please. what you're mainly into. Yes, please. All right, let's get back to National Call again. Yeah, so I put this up yesterday and said we're going to have this conversation. I was happy to see that a lot of people were interested in this conversation, among other things, because, need I say it, everybody's trying to lose weight now. There are so many products on the market promising weight loss solutions. There are so many offerings. There are so many women and men who are curious about losing weight. As a dietitian, what's the one thing that many people ask you when they come to you about weight loss? So, thank you for having me. Um, what you are saying is right. It's due to the fact that weight loss or obesity has been linked to um, certain non-communicable diseases like diabetes, hypertension, most cardiovascular diseases. And so we encourage people who are obese to lose weight. And then if you are not, you have to be in a healthy weight um, maintenance bracket. bracket to say. Now, there's a lot about weight loss, and every day, somebody wants to lose weight. Mm -hmm. I hear it every time. Once they hear your diet, oh, I want to lose weight. Oh, I want to lose weight. And just as you said, there are a lot of promising products on the market, fad diets here and there, promising weight loss. But we look at how sustainable is the weight loss. You want to lose weight, yes. What are you losing the weight for? What are the factors involved in your weight loss? People have varied reasons. Some want to fit in their next dress size. Yeah. Some want to look pretty because they are body shamed. Some want to be healthy. But overall, the most important thing is that you are healthy and you are doing it right. So there are misconceptions such as crash diet where people reduce their calorie intake or the quantity of food they, are, they, are, they need mm -hmm. in a day drastically. Some people involved in eating disorders where they don't eat at all. I've heard many times <laughs> that reducing the calories you take, like you said, is the way to go. Okay. Because so, you know the calorie deficit. Exactly. So the, 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 I, I, I think it's, it's one of the leading yes. ways that yes. yeah. popular nutritionists would we'll tell suggest you to lose the weight. Yeah. That you know, once you are in a calorie deficit, deficit, you are going to be burning fat, and so you're going to lose weight. Yes. And so most people I know who try diets would want to eat less calories than the body needs in a day, so they can lose it. So with that, there's a limit. Okay. So. She or he, the professional, knows what limits you have to go to. Mm -hmm. Unlike 
somebody else doing it or the person doing it herself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Googling for it. example, mm -hmm. if you are a, a low calorie diet, like 1,200 calories, can yeah. make you lose weight yes. mm -hmm. in some few days. Mm -hmm. yes. But that is for a child. That is not what your body needs. Wow. Yeah. And so you are starving the body. Mm -hmm. So what does, what, how, how much intake um, is required for adults like us, or probably you? It depends you. on your things. body assessment. Okay, so when you say body assessment, what do you mean? BMI, blood pressure? So, so we have the BMI, which is the general. We okay. have body compositions. Okay. okay. We have your resting metabolic rate. Resting Com metabolic rate. rate. What, what is that? that? It's when you are not doing anything, you are sleeping. You are at rest. You are at rest. Okay. How much energy your body needs to run? Is it different mm -hmm. for everyone? It's different for everyone. Everybody. Everybody has its own different. Okay. Some few people may have similar. Okay. But then you, you if you're not doing a data collection, you might not know. Okay. Okay. And then we compare it to your activity level. So you I know you're a very physical person, you do a lot of activity. How do you know that? <laughs> and, okay. and and so the the your when your RM is put together with another person. That's my resting metabolism. Read, okay. read. It's put together with another person who is not that active. Who it is may there? not be the same. It may not be the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so the amount of calorie you will need will be different from the next person. I tell you, I once went on a diet sometime in 2017 after I had had my first child. Before I got pregnant, I weighed 75 kg. And after I had the baby, I weighed 98 kg. So I gained a lot of weight. So I went, I went on this diet, I, I saw a nutritionist and went on this diet who did a full body assessment, including my metabolic age, my, my water retention and all yes. that. I stood in a yes. machine and it did all of that. So she put me on a diet for 1,200 calories a day. Mm. Okay. okay. And so she was preparing the meals for me and I was eating pretty much everything from Banku to everything. But then it was measured. In portions. Yes. In, in portions. In exactly six weeks, I had lost a lot of weight. You would. You know. Without doing anything, anything. Yes. any ex physical yeah. exercise, yes. because I had yeah. I had just you know I wasn't ready to start working out. Mm. I had lost so much weight within a short time, so yes. I was like, oh, when they meet me, I. Mm. So I signed off. You know, I stopped going to the nutritionist, and based on the information I had gathered from her, started, now started preparing my own meals, and I gained weight. You like would. I didn't, you know, it didn't it didn't work. So I realized that. Sometimes you might think you know because you've read or you've spoken to exactly a specialist who tells you how it's done. But while you do it with them, it works. And then when you go off on your own, we it might not give work. You and the then that's when the, the frustration starts. <laughs> okay, so, so you don't give us the full information. Eh? I mean, <laughs> if they do, you will go back to them. Uh, that's why you thought you didn't need them yeah. anymore. Because the person has calculated every, every single thing. thing. Is okay. it possible for an individual like me? Who doesn't have any training in, in dieting or nutrition to be able to calculate my meals and my calorie intake by myself. I ask this because I saw that if you even Googled the calories in a spoon of rice, yes. it can tell you calories in one banana, it can tell you. Mm -hmm. So if I want to eat 1,200 calories a day, you know, as um, a woman, five, six, I'm 35 years old, I want to lose X number, you know, X kg. And so I want to eat 1,200 calories a day. If I Google, okay, ball of kinky, calories, um, 200 calories, fish, 100 calories, two eggs, um, 100 calories, okay, so that's 500 calories for my lunch. Then I need another 500 calories for my dinner. dinner. Then I, can I do that by myself? Okay, so when it comes to these things, there are so many things involved. Okay. It's not only about the food only. It's not only about the calorie only. It's about combination of the meals, their timing, so many things are the involved. time you eat, the timing, the 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 frequency of certain foods that will be chipped in, and all that. Your your, I tell people, especially for women, hormones are involved, mm. and so what a dietitian would do is that they are going to tailor those foods that you are eating to address some of the concerns in your body without you knowing. Explain hormones are involved. What does it so, mean? So, when hormones are not balancing. I pose as a woman's health dietitian, I do a lot of education on that. When hormones are not balancing, it may be difficult for you to lose weight. Mm, no matter okay. what you're doing. No when matter hormones what you're doing. You have to address hormonal you have, balance. Hormonal, you have to address or arrest that hormonal imbalance. So there are foods that are tailored to that. So you may be thinking, I'm just combining kinky and fish and blah, 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 blah. But you're not addressing that concern there. Okay. Wow. We, we need yeah, to know. Take us you through, are, though. You are, you are, you are stressed. Hmm. 
<laughs> please, please go back on that. So, so there are so what many is things. What is the correlation? What, 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 what relationship does stress have with weight gain or loss? Okay. So when you are stressed, it affects most of the organs and the hormones in the body. Okay. That's are responsible for fat cells. Fat cells? Yes. Hmm. So you, you may think that, oh, there are, I, I mean, I meet a lot of people who are doing everything to lose weight. But, but it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to go because anywhere. Because they're stressed. Because you're stressed. Your hormones are also all over the place. It's not balancing. Sometimes it can even be a gut problem you don't know about. Mm. Okay. So there are so many things that are involved. Okay, Frederica. Okay. So this is what we <laughs> so, need to know. And this is what a lot of the people watching this so morning... So you cannot sit down okay. to say that... So it's not only about willpower. So that's where, that I'm, so, I, I so, so that's where I'm coming to. It's not about to. commitment. So, so no. that's where I'm coming to. So let's establish the fact all of us want to lose weight. Or say um, Madam A wants to lose weight. What's the first step? Take us through chronologically what you're supposed to do to get it right. Okay. Do I come to you first to speak to you, or what do I do first? So you decide that you want to lose weight. Okay. You, you request to see a dietitian. That's the first thing That's to do. That's the first thing to do. You okay. need to see a dietitian. You need, you, under no circumstance should you. People you shouldn't are go to your gym instructor. No. Most of them don't even know anything. They don't okay. even know the when physiology it comes to diet, and the science, mm. even behind the exercises you are doing. Some exercises that you are doing are gaining you more muscles. Mm. So your weight is going to go up. Yeah, and true. For, some, for, for the sports nutrition that I did, when you start, some people, when they start working out with um, diet, they start gaining weight before they reverse. And it has happened to me before. It has happened to me too. Before. Yeah. Okay. You start the gym and everything. And I'm glad that when I was in school, we went through that process for credit hours. You have to do it. Mm. And everybody was losing weight, and I, am, I wasn't losing weight. Mm. I was like, say, why am I not losing mm. weight? He said, go on. So I took about two or three months to then come back. And I started reversing. And some people too will lose weight immediately, and later they plateau. Mm. So there are, there are a lot of dynamics. And I say that these things are individual. It is tailored to a person. Okay. It is not a general thing. And there are a lot of people out there posing as nutritionists, dietitians. Where is your license? Mm -hmm. You, you learn some nutrition it. somewhere online, <laughs> then you are practicing On YouTube. It, and then you say you are a nutritionist or a dietitian. No. So sometimes we don't get this. But you come to a dietitian. I will ask you. Mm -hmm. I will do my assessment mm -hmm. physically. Then I'll ask you, now, nah, when do you sleep? When do you wake up? How, what time do you get to work? When do you take your breakfast? When do you snack? Mm. Do you, um, you know, when do, what do you snack on? Okay. All these things come to play. Where do you buy your food from? Mm -hmm. When you're at work, do you take food to work? Oh, okay, they, they supply us with meals. I eat in my office. It means that you, they supply you with meals. You don't have control even over your meal. I eat in my office. You don't, after eating, you're still by your desk. In the office. All these things are there. So with your environment, your food environment, and then your, your, your body, physiology, and everything, we put together. I'll ask you, are you having your menses regularly? Mm. What and has that got to do with home. your weight loss? Because All if that your is hormones are it. not balancing, you may be there, you're not having your menses. You may be having PCOS. You may be having, that is making you gain the weight. Mm. You don't have no idea. So maybe your menses used to come... Um, Maybe five days, now it's three days. Mm. And for as women as we are, we are happy because we are going to be free. Exactly. And you don't even think that it is, it is an issue. But it may be adding to your weight gain. Exactly. Mm. Because your hormones are not balanced. So a dietitian or a professional nutritionist will take you through all these things to ascertain what the problem is coming from. I once had a client and then all the problem, the person is eating everything. Mm -hmm. All her problem is that she sleeps at 12 and wake up at 4 a.m., leave home at 5.30. Are you talking she's to running, me? She's running on a four-hour sleep talking to every me. day. She's talking, talking about me? She's talking to us. <laughs> talking about me. And, and <laughs> when you sleep, that deep sleep, mm. sleep yeah. for eight hours, yeah. something happens. Okay. Your body works. Okay. Your brain works, telling... Your hunger hormones, your satiety hormones, do this, do that. But you don't even have time for the sleep. That alone is a no no. It's a no no. It will make okay. you gain weight. So sometimes you come out and you look, you have paid me, but your problem is not food. Mm. Sleep. Your problem is that you are not sleeping, you are stressed. Mm. Some people, they are sleeping not that much, 
they have something on their mind every time. All these things are stresses. You have no idea what stress can do to your weight loss. Hmm. You can take all the weight loss products and, you know, they have some effects. They work. Okay. Slim teas, weight loss supplements, they work. But how are you going to sustain it? Because in as much as you use it, you still have to maintain all these things, your sleep. People say that, okay, when you ask them about consistency, because I often ask this, this question yeah. when people say, oh, I'm on this diet, you know, I'm on a keto diet and I'm losing the weight and it's working, you should try it. I say, okay, you're on a keto diet and it's working. Amazing, I'm happy for you. But are you going to be on a keto diet for the rest of your life? That's or the what's question. the plan for consistency? The and they'd often say that after I lose the weight, I'll start eating everything I want to eat in regular portions. I'll watch it. Is it possible to do this from your experience? So get on, for example, a keto diet, which works. I've mm -hmm. seen people lose so much weight from the diet. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that diet does work. It does work. It does but work. after you're off the diet, is it possible to go back to eating regular portions of everything that you would like to eat so that you maintain it? Or getting off a diet will just set you back to where you used to be? So... It's not supposed to be diet. It's supposed to be healthy eating. And it should be a mindful eating. So it's something that you should be doing on a regular basis. Now, when you have crashed your diet into a certain fat diet, whether keto, paleo, whatever that you are doing, the body is not used to that. So immediately, when you start doing that, the body will lose the weight. When you leave that zone, you may come back to normal. Even though you say you are watching, the body is, is a wonderful machine. And it understands all the assignments we give. So God has designed it in a way that what you are doing is not supporting it. It will try, even when you have not eaten for a long time, your body produces sugar into your system. So the body is trying to help itself yeah. by you coming back. So in that case, you practice what we call mindful eating. What is mindful eating? Mindful eating is about, it's not even about the portions and things. That, that one is last. It's about your mind. How are you eating the food? Mm. Are you eating the food speedily or mm. hurriedly? Mm. Are you masticating it well? Mm. Are you stressed? Are you happy? When people eat with emotions. Mm. So if the food, you like the food you're eating, it's you are delicious, happy. you're happy. And what that, you that might do? tend to eat more. Mm. Ah. If you are sad, you might not eat. Mm. And all these varieties... They come into play. They huh. come into play. So, you know, you have to know what exactly... Me, if you are my client, I will pursue you. Because I want to know exactly What's what is going, going on in your on life. In my life. I have a friend... be like, oh, uh, I take this for breakfast. I take this one for lunch. Mm -hmm. I don't eat that much. Oh. Then, in, then I will change the conversation to a very general something. Then she will chip in. Oh, even... Sometimes plantain chips, then I keep on snacking on my legs. But she didn't mention that before. Not to say plantain chips is bad, but these are the things that the people snacks. hide. Yeah. The, the snack. She, does, she doesn't count uh, it as food. Uh, let me, let me, let me um, share an experience that a friend had with you. She went to see a nutritionist who was helping her very well, you know, um, making her meals for her. She was losing weight. And um, at some point, she noticed that she wasn't losing the weight anymore, even though she was you know, go according to the, going according to the diet. So she came to the nutritionist's office and they asked her, are you eating anything outside the meals we are giving you? She said no. But and she, she was. was not lying. No, she was eating only the meals they were giving her. Okay. But just like you're saying, along the conversation, she was like, you know, because the meals are not tasty, she asked shito. So she's not eating anything else, but she's adding shito to Just the meal. Just because they're not tasting good. Exactly. And the shito... Has a lot of oil. You know calories. how we make shito. Yes. The oil goes in there. a lot of oil. So much oil. So even though she's eating well... Just the shito element in there. It's adding, extra it's calorie. adding more than 500 calories exactly. to her diet. Mm. Just the extra shito. Yes. So I see what you mean by, even if you're eating well, there are little things that you might add that will spoil everything, everything, for, everything you. for you. But talking about emotional eating and eating and your emotions, there are some people who lose so much weight when they are sad. Yes. And people who gain so much weight when they're happy. It's something we actually say, say that why you're fine. You say, yeah, here we are. You know, say why you're fine. You, you've, gained, you've gained weight. Right. Aside your, your meals and so on, the things that ha are happening in your personal life, do they affect your weight too? Can I lose weight because I'm unhappy? Yes, you can. That's why I said these are all type of stresses. These are negative emotional but stresses. But can I lose weight when I'm happy? 
Yes, you can. You may, you'll be in a happy because the there's a, a, a nervous system that mm. is responsible for all this, being okay. happy, being sad. Mm. Mm. And the, the appropriate thing is to be at the happy side. Okay. 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 And when people are too happy, then <laughs> I know some. I, 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 I know someone, <laughs> I, I had a client, she said, I'm doing everything, we had, we're losing weight. And then she, at the point she was plateauing, then she started gaining weight. I said, ah, what are you doing? Later, I found out that every night she takes red wine. Oh. Ah. And she thinks that red wine is it's supposed to be healthy for, for the, the heart. heart. <laughs> so wait, what about red wine? It, what? it has to be calories? Sugar. It has calories. So you're adding to the calories. <laughs> that ladies, they hold have on. Ladies, hold on. Ladies, hold on. Ladies, hold on. So our viewers are participating in this conversation. Jacqueline is on the line from Ablekuma. Good morning, Jacqueline. Welcome to TV3 New Day and this conversation on weight loss. What do you have for us? Jacqueline. Uh, okay. Hello. Yes, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, please, I wanted to ask. Um, recently, I had wanted to buy a weight loss product, right? Okay. And a friend of mine told me that I shouldn't buy because, like, um, there are so many misconceptions. She was like, the people who take weight loss products, they, they don't have a higher lifespan. They die very early. Okay. Because they got a lot of things to them. Right. That so shouldn't buy it at all. And I want to know if it's true. Okay. And also, I've been wanting to lose weight now. I don't do anything at all. I'm always at home. And so I don't know how to... Whenever I download the weight loss app, mm. the fathers have gone in two days. Like, I can't even take on... You are not able to so keep like, up. Yeah. Okay. So... I don't know how to, so I just want maybe how maybe I can look on and maybe lose some weight while I'm at home. Okay. Because I don't do it. All right. Paduga. Okay. So, um, when, when the person said short life and blah, blah, blah. I mean, it, uh, that is far-fetched mm -hmm. because there are so many things that come into play when you talk about life expectancy. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to go for a weight loss product, mm -hmm. which... I mean, it's not ideal, but people still want to go. We want fast results. Mm. And now, hmm. you, you have to Wait. see a practitioner. First, should you go for a weight loss product? If you want to go for it, why not? It's a nutrition. They have nutritional supplements that help that in, in, in weight. Would you recommend weight, weight loss products? Yes. In, in, um, there are particular ones because it has to be scutinized. You have okay. to know the ingredients used to make the, that particular, that particular product. 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 Okay, cool. Has it gone through the FDA? Okay. So if you want to choose a weight loss product, you have to see a professional. Don't do it yourself. Don't do it yourself. All right. See your dietitian, see your doctor, where you, if there's no dietitian. And now dietitians are everywhere. Nutritionists are everywhere. The person will go through, okay, so so and so product. Let me go behind ingredients. What and what and what, what, what was used? Is it okay for the body? Some of them are foreign, and they even have Chinese, Chinese language, and yeah. you don't even understand what mm. is there. So such mm. products, you go and take it, and something happens to you. It's at your own call. Mm. Yeah. You put your life on the line. So one, don't choose it on your own. Two, you have to engage a professional to take you through. For all you know, there's something even bothering you that is not making you do the thing. Sometimes people, I, I had somebody started off well, then let's say, look, I'm not doing it again. I said, what? Well, a person was looking for an approval from, from somebody. Ah, uh, so, and it wasn't coming from the person. Exactly. So the person stopped. But okay. weight loss must be for yourself, not for somebody. Exactly. So these are yeah. all the nitty gritties that go into it. So Jackie, you have to see a professional. You can walk to any facility. There's a dietitian there. And then they will see you, help you, and guide you on a daily basis. What to do, what step to take, I and was, all that. I was told by a doctor one time that most of these um, weight loss pills and juices mm -hmm. and things that people take is actually not working, but it's your mind. It's your mind. You know, 100%. they've told you that when you drink this tea bag or when you drink this concoction, you don't get hungry. So once you get on it, your mind it's tells you that you won't get hungry. So because your mind is telling you that it's you won't get hungry, you don't even feel hungry. Speak, because yeah. your mind has told you that, that already. You so you are <laughs> going hungry. It's making you lose the weight in a bad way. But you think it is the pill or whatever that That's you're taking. Working. But it but is your mind and your body. Because you are not eating, you are losing the weight. 
but it's the wrong way because it will bounce back Speaking again. Of not bounce. eating and losing weight, Doc. Is it true? One really, second, hold that, on to that. Hold okay. on to that question. There's a caller on the line. Good morning. Where are you calling from? What's your name, please? Oh, you Doc. Yes, my name is Ivy. I'm calling from Inglaterra. Okay, Ivy. Let's hear you. Um, please, I wanted to ask if if what? We didn't hear that. If you have stomach ulcer, what, what's, what's your complete question? I, I don't understand. Hello? We lost that for a second. I heard the stomach ulcer part, but I, I'm not sure what the full question is. If you could come back again, we'll be grateful. I think it's actually along the lines of not eating. So a lot of people in their... Oh, you're, you're oh, still on. Hello? Oh, you see, she's listening to us through the TV set. So it's giving her feedback, feedback and we also cannot hear. Please listen to us through the telephone with which you've called. And please ask your question again. Are you still there? Okay, so we lost it. Now, ask Along the lines of not eating, I'm glad she mentioned stomach ulcer. People who want to lose weight will sometimes deliberately starve themselves. Exactly. So we've heard about all sorts of fastings. Mm -hmm. Now, there's intermittent fasting. There's, there's an eight-hour window. There's a 10-hour window. No meals before 10 a.m. No meals hours, after 6 p.m. You know, so you allow your body to fast for 14 hours. You know, it, it's been said repeatedly that it's a safe and good way to lose weight. But a lot of people who I have heard go on intermittent fasting, mm -hmm. um, dieting methods will fast longer than the fasting hours. And so they don't eat and they starve themselves. Does starving yourself really help you lose weight? A big no. No. A big no. You see, there's a principle. I might say fasting has a lot of benefits. Okay. okay. Intermittent fasting. There are lots of studies that are showing that it's, it's not even good only for weight loss, but other cardiovascular diseases and all that. Now, that is why there's a principle. People have worked on such a, a, a protocol or a, a program or model, and they have so, just as you said, people fast longer than the hours yeah. they are supposed to fast. And there's a reason why all these protocols are in place. So then you are not following what you are supposed to do, you see. So it's, it's a bit difficult because you meet people, I'm doing so I'll ask you, I'll usually ask you, how are you doing how it? How are you doing it? Yeah. Be like, oh, I start at so and so time and I end at so and so time and blah, 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 and all that. You see, the first thing is that know your body. Yeah. Know your body type. Mm -hmm. What are the body types there are? What are so the different types? We have the apple shapes. So the way your physical body looks? Uh, yes. What, what body type am I? You are pear. Pear? You pear. Okay. So the upper part is, you know, <laughs> but not so loud like cookies. <laughs> You know. So, so what, are, am I, what, what am I? You are, you are pear. pineapples. Uh, like really perish. Oh. Like the, the fruit? Harriet, can you leave me alone? <laughs> Harriet, leave okay. me alone. So, no, on, hold on. on. Enoch, no, no, hold Enoch. on. Enoch is on the line. All right. Enoch is on the line. Okay. Hi, good morning, Enoch. This is TV3 New Day. What do you have to say? Is it a question or a comment? Hello? Yes, yeah. hi, Enoch. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine, my love. What do we have here? A comment or a question? Yeah, a question. Okay. Um, I, I have a problem with my tummy. It's like kind of soft. So when I eat, it comes up. But uh, after some time, it goes down flat. And I want to know if that one too is a problem. You mean you have a weight. soft tummy? Is that what you said? Yes, my tummy is kind of soft, even so though another part of my body is hard. But the tummy is very soft. So. If I don't have food, in, it's, 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 it's not that hard. But when I eat, it comes up as a pot belly. Is I just want condition? to know. But that <laughs> is, is a problem. Like the okay. fat, is it a fatty problem? Okay. Is, is that a condition? So it's not a condition per se, but um, I think most people... Most, most people, people have like, that. I experience that too. <laughs> yes. Your most, tummy is soft. It's soft. But when you eat... <laughs> when I eat... <laughs> so there's it something all there. The time. Yeah. There's something there. So... There's the integrity of the so of your you abdomen. Of your abdomen. It likes yeah. structural integrity. Elasticity. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> what happens is that if if the integrities are not strong, so there are core exercises you can do to yeah. strengthen that. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure if you, you do stomach exercises, this thing should be, I think yeah. a lot of women experience after childbirth. Childbirth. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. the stomach has stretched. Because it's lost its elasticity. It's elasticity. So 
because I, when I, I wake up in the morning, so with, it becomes with like flaccid. a very flat. I mean, unless you engage in a lot of core drink, exercise, yeah, a bottle I mean, or two of no, water. No, I breathe. I breathe in around chicken, is it? <laughs> and then it's out. It's so out. it's it's something that I know yeah. a lot of women experience, experience. because after your, your your stomach enlarges or stretches after childbirth, you 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 may you may have some loose skin. Loose skin. And, and so then, even if you lose all the weight and you do all the ab exercises, I mean, when you feel your belly, you feel a six pack muscle under it. Yeah. But then there's still a lot of skin. And yeah. so when you eat, it, it could just like um, balloon. But let's talk about the things that people are doing. So we've spoken about intermittent fasting. Let's talk about juice fast. I know people go on seven-day juice fast. They only drink juice, um, uh, melon juice, ginger, pineapple, no solid meals, no carbohydrates, no meats, no fish, nothing. Do, do juice fast work? So uh, all these measures we are talking about, they work. But how long can you juice fast? You see, how long can you juice fast? It's, and so you mean it's not sustainable? It's not sustainable. Okay. And they are all part of the crash diet. diet. Because you are restricting. If you are taking juice alone, maybe a glass of juice is about 80 calories. So maybe if you are taking like 10, 10 of that, it's yeah, 800, actually, calories, in 800 whole day. calories in a day. You will and, lose and weight. because they say that fruits and vegetables are safe and they're nutritious and they're healthy. And so if you are on a fruit diet right. then you must be eating less calories but that's a misconception that's a misconception because some fruits have more calories than even rice and stew even rice so and let, stew. Me, let me tell you a personal story when i first started these diets a long time ago i bought so i joined a group right and we're all losing weight together you're supposed to post all your meals so i said i was going to have fruits for breakfast and at that time i worked around nima so i walked to the nima traffic lights and bought a whole bunch of bananas it was about 20 bananas yeah, and groundnuts <laughs> so i went to the office and took a picture of my bananas and posted on a group chat and i got a good laugh because apparently one banana is equivalent to one scoop of rice yes so 20 uh, you know pieces of banana would be about 20 scoops of rice. 20. So I, I, was, I, I was better off eating my wache and gari. Exactly. You know, or your kinky. Or, or kinky than eating um, and, and uh, those, those you, bananas. Sometimes when we eat those things, they don't satisfy us. So you, so you go for some more. extra something to in addition. So by the time you realize you yeah, are <sighs> taking like 5,000 calories for an athlete, but you are sitting in an office. Is it true that late eating contributes to weight gain? Um not it's not a direct cause okay but then it's linked to okay okay what's the link now that the thing is that during the day when you eat at least you do something okay. some activity right to utilize the atp the energy that you've got it when you eat late most of the time people who use would um, eat late are going to bed mm. atp comes what are you doing with the atp so it will just go and the fat what is cells atp or activity energy. okay your the energy that we derive from food okay that is the ATP. all right so now when you have gotten the atv what do you use it for you are sleeping so the 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 fat the body is ready to store than to metabolize so that's a general rule yes so immediately the fat fat cells will come for it quickly and store it for you Okay. Some people say they have low metabolism. You know, people would say, oh, me, my metabolism is low. How my have metabolism they been able to determine low. that? Yes. How you do know, they determine that? Let's talk about our metabolism. Um, how do you know you have a low metabolism? How do you know you have a good one? Um, some people say if, they, if, if your stomach turns in the morning, you have a good metabolism, so you're good. Some people say that's not the case. Some people say you need to drink some green tea or drink hot water in the morning so that your, your metabolism is activated or does better. Is this true? Okay. So, um, when it comes to metabolism, as I said, everybody's own is different. Now, there are certain things that we do that slows down our metabolism, like being inactive, sedentary lifestyle, certain foods that you eat and all that. That does not make the energy that comes be, to be used well. Okay. Now, concerning what you said, some people actually have slow metabolism. Others do have high. But even those ones, you can work on it. Your activity will show how high your metabolism can be. Does exercise play a role in weight loss? Exactly. Um, since we are talking about misconceptions, I've heard that exercise will not make you lose weight. And that exercising is kind of like 10% of the work. And the main work is your diet. Your diet, yes. So exercise is, plays a major role, a key role in weight loss or any healthy lifestyle journey you want to play All right. but there are different types of exercises for specific goals so you'll be doing some exercises 
that are not helping your weight loss journey. Okay. So, so for it exercise, depends. it depends. All right. All right. You know, I think I think we should have uh, we should do a series. Where we we'll talk we, about we all the misconceptions, have, yeah. and, and, yeah. Now, one by one. and now that you're talking about exercises, we we'll need to marry that with people who call themselves instructors exactly. in the gym. Mm -hmm. Because I've been told many times, and Flash Cake would always say, that sit-ups and tummy exercises actually do not make you lose your belly Stomach fat. fat. Yes. <laughs> Flash Cake has said that many times. So maybe next week yeah, we can we, pair we, Flash we can, Cake can series, or any yeah. fitness instructor out there who wants to help on this matter with Frederica and then we'll continue. We'll it will be a series that we'll, we'll, we'll continue right here on TV3 That's New Day. But Frederica, thank you so much for coming this morning. If you're looking for Frederica, it's very simple. She's available at the... Um, Medigrace Medical Center. Okay, Medigrace Medical Center. I'm sure a lot of people want to call you. What's your phone number? Can you mm. give that up? To the <laughs> hospital, not you. The hospital. Because I, I, I know a I, lot of people her, would her love her to call you. To, but whilst, yeah. we get, whilst we get that Okay, so ready, I'm on Instagram, finance dietitian. Good. So if you DM me, uh -huh. I can um, respond. respond.